This is the AquaSign Sign Management Solutions webinar. Uh, in this webinar, we will uh, show you the overall AquaSign process as well as some of the features, including the new offline feature. The first step is a collection of sign attributes in the field. We typically use an iPad where data is downloaded from the AquaSign servers to the iPad when the app is initiated. Uh, that data is used then to edit sign data in the field. Uh, you add new signs, including photos. That data is then saved. Every time it's saved, it also goes directly, real-time, instantly back into the AquaSign servers with the same cellular connection. What is offline? Uh, using the iPad in the field uh, to, to edit current data, including photo or adding new photos without a cellular connection. All data is stored locally in the iPad. Why use it? If you have intermittent or no cellular signal in isolated portions of your county, or if, for example, you're using cellular in counties close to Canadian border, maybe costly to use their cell towers, or just a short response time would be another reason. Uh, how does it work in the offline? Um, when you start in the office, uh, you must have a Wi-Fi signal in which you would uh, download road sign data and map areas. Then in the field, in the offline portion, you would edit and add new signs, and that data would be stored locally, no cellular uh, signal needed. Finally, back in the office with the Wi-Fi, you would now upload all that new and edited data. Now, just to show you a little more specifics uh, on this and a few screenshots, uh, on the first part, when you start out downloading, when you uh, get on to the um, uh, downloading of the data, you will get a rectangle. You resize that rectangle and move it to the area that you're going to be in. It's only going to record the map data within that rectangle as well as all the signs within that data. You then give it a name to save it by and press OK. The data then will be downloaded and saved into your iPad. The next thing is what do you do out in the field in the offline mode? What you see here is the main offline screen and you will load the main map into your iPad. So you may have more than one uh, save sign set, so select that one and ask it to be loaded in. When it's loaded in, you will see what looks like the online version, a list of signs as well as a map with all the sign pins and data within that map. Um, it now functions the same as the online version. Uh, as you can see here, you've got the uh, orange bullseye, which can be located uh, uh, wherever the sign is, giving you the GPS coordinates. And at the same time, you get to choose uh, from a drop-down list of MUTCD signs. When you save that, it will show up in yellow, meaning you have a new sign. Notice there is no sign number uh, because it is a new sign. Uh, and it is at this point, you also get the pop-up box and a pin. You click in that pop-up box and you'll go to the main sign edit page where you can add all the other sign attributes. In this particular case, you also have 12 check boxes uh, and you can also do an optional uh, photo. Uh, upon saving this, again, it still uh, will show up as yellow, and you notice I've also uh, edited two signs uh, uh, that are not in, in this part of the presentation, but they have been edited in the field in the offline mode, and those also show up as yellow. At this point, we're now ready to go into the office and to upload this information. So again, uh, when you start, you're still in the offline mode when you do this, uh, and you've got the main offline screen, and you'll notice you press the green bar, which says Review and Upload Changes. When you do that, what will appear is a screen showing you all the signs, including at the top those in yellow that are new or edited. At this point, with that strong Wi-Fi signal now, you would press Upload. What will happen is each of those yellow will turn to green as the data and its photos are uploaded to the AquaSign servers. When all is green, all is done. Another method for getting data into our servers is if you are using a third-party app or electronic database, uh, you can send that to our techs, which will they will translate it into some sort of a CSV file. 
uh, import it, and then import that data into our AquaSign servers. The second step is to adopt, adopt an assessment and management plan. The MUTCD re retroreflectivity requirements mandate that by 2014, uh, an assessment or management method is in place uh, designed to maintain regulatory and warning sign retroreflectivity. Uh, our system can be used uh, in the assessment part using visual assessment uh, or measured retroreflectivity or if you're doing the management portion, expected sign life, blanket replacement, use of control signs, or any other future methods that may come up as long as they're backed by an engineering study. And in some cases, uh, several of our customers are using a combination of these methods. The third step is to do periodic and ongoing assessment and management of the entire sign database with AquaSign. Uh, you will notice in this screen that uh, we've got both the iPad and the laptop. You can do update inventory with both generate reports with the laptop only, and of course using both you would also periodically inspect and replace signs. What are the main iPad features? Uh, you can edit sign data, add a new sign, delete a sign, reposition a sign, or use the new offline feature. This is a picture of the iPad map, which you will see is a list of signs. And now this is the online portion, and you will also see that the pins in green are ones that have one panel per support, whereas the purple are uh, multiple panel, panels on a support structure. This can also be viewed in uh, satellite or hybrid. And when you click on one of the pop-up boxes for one of the signs, you get the edit screen, which includes 30 sign attributes, 12 check boxes, a thumbnail photo at the top. Notice that every time you save on the iPad, a new history record is recorded for that sign. Adding a new sign, uh, this is the same as what you saw in the offline version. They do the same. You get the uh, uh, orange bullseye that you locate, choose the sign, and again, this map can be displayed in various views. Uh, main laptop features, you can edit sign data, you can add, delete, reposition a sign. What you can only do in the laptop is generate uh, uh, PDF and Excel reports for sign attributes, any or all, and also a history report. It also includes some batch editing and a, a way to group signs that share the same support structure. Uh, this is a picture of the uh, main screen laptop. Uh, you can do a lot of searching and sorting prior to getting to the screen, but once you get there, you can further search using the green box on the right with the green arrow. If you press the middle green bar with the red arrow, that will show you a map, which we'll show you in just a minute. And then if you look at the blue arrow on the left, that's pointing to the sign numbers. Uh, those are actually links to the sign edit page. So when you click on the blue two, for example, you'll get this sign edit page. And note that uh, you, the uh, blue arrow on the left there shows um, that this is sign number seven and that it shares the support with sign number eight, which is circled. If you click on the 8, you'll go to the uh, sign edit page for sign 8. Uh, you would also do all of your uh, sign editing on this page, and then where you see the red arrow, you would press continue. At this point, you go to the history page where you can add additional information with drop down on activity, reasons, you've got a comment box, the date, <clears throat> you can uh, add a, a signature. And then uh, if you press the green button, it will save this sign record for that sign as well as the data. If you press the, the, uh, the red uh, for a minor change, this history will not be saved, but the data will. This is an example of a map uh, shown in the um, laptop, and all the pins are red, green, and yellow, uh, which represent uh, retroreflectivity. Uh, uh, green being good and uh, red being poor. Uh, you also notice there are blue, um, those are pop-ups uh, th that uh, when you see them, those are more than two panels on a support. Uh, and you will see that the numbers that you see in those pop-up boxes are links. Uh, this is an example of a report that's done in uh, uh, 
uh, an Excel version uh, with some attributes. You can do custom reporting both with any or all the attributes as well as a history report. So when you look at uh, AquaSign, you'll see that it's aqu ac uh, inventory acquisition and you'll notice that there is a Trimble GPS which also can be used. Uh, there's customized reporting and most importantly, uh, there's accessibility uh, from anywhere, uh, from the field, from your car. Uh, Sharon Lipch of uh, Walsh County, North Dakota said, the AquaSign program has been a great help to Walsh County in managing our road sign inventory, as well as providing our crews with a convenient and cost-effective iPad solution in the field. So what is AquaSign? It's a web-based sign management program that provides the ultimate in access, functionality, and oversight. What's included in the license? Uh, first of all, remote database, a single database accessible from anywhere with a cellular or internet connection. Offline functionality, the iPad can be used anywhere within your municipality without a connection. All software upgrades um, in the App Store with the iPad or just when you log into the uh, web-based version. And finally, uh, data backups. So um, what do you do next? Uh, contact us for more information and uh, we would... Uh, tell you that we would be glad to set you up with a trial run. Uh, enter your information, give you a username and password, and, but you will need an iPad to do it, and we'd also would like a contact person. So for further information, please contact us at AquaSign at the number and email given.